and now the second row when my magic ring is done let's say we have six times increasing so 12 single crochet all together and I also have to start counting my rows for that I bring in another yarn and I just put it between the stitches and the first stitch is always the trickiest so I kind of pick it up the first loop then I go under the second and under and again under and I form my first stitch so once again you go in under pull it through and under pull it through second stitch again to single crochet into one number three number four five and six my second row is done and now the third row one increasing and one single crochet all around so I should have 18 single crochet stitches together so and again the third row starts I'll just take it off and put it back between the stitches so I can see where I am and start forming my third row so two times two single crochet into one so one increasing and then one single crochet and I'll continue all around and you can see my stitch marker is here and I find it um, it's the easiest way for me to mark rows I don't use any stitch markers because they get on my way so the yarn tail is very useful so I'll find I hope you'll find it useful as well thank you